All right, guys, this home is a 2,400 and some change square foot home. Um, just giving it to you as an option with all of the uh, promotions that have already been taken out. This one is listed, I believe, at 367. So it is a good option. It still has four bedrooms. And honestly, the space doesn't look that much smaller than a 2,700 square foot home simply because it's a different layout. Still has the eight foot door. Now, one of the things I will say, of course, that is not, um, you know, depending on how you live, a lot of people don't like the carpet. This is laminate. So personally, if you don't like this, you can literally take up all the flooring when you move in and add your own, if that's something that you don't like. Um, in this home, here is the powder up at the front and then a coat closet right here. You can always add a boot bench, perfect right there. Okay, this also has nine foot ceilings so that you're aware. Good space in here. I do like the kitchen. The kitchen opens up so while you are um, cooking, you know, you can still kind of be involved with what's going on in the living room. So a little interesting, um, this fixture is for the dining, but as you can see, this is where they have the connection for the TV, okay? So the idea is that you situate your furniture over here for the living space, and then you make this your dining. Okay, I would switch them, guys. I think that's what I would do if I had this home. Maybe switch this fixture to over there, put your table there, and now have like a good long sofa with maybe a love seat or some chairs right here. And now that is where the TV goes. That's a little different. All right, this is the owner's retreat. Now this one has a good size. Um, you can definitely fit comfortably a lot of, a lot of um, furniture. Walk-in closet, wood shelving is something that I did notice. That's nice. This home is ready for a quick move-in. Linoleum flooring here, double vanity and then a nice walk-in shower. So pros and cons, right, for building and also for uh, picking a quick move-in home. The quick move-in home, the benefit is the price um, and it's quick move-in. The negative is that, you know, you didn't select all the features. Here is the washer dryer area. On this home, it does come with irrigation. This one did select the garage door opener and it also has a pre-plumb. So what the sales representative was sharing with me is that um, how they actually get the homes available for a quicker move-in is they, KB Homes, does not build inventory home. It's if there was a cancel. So for whatever reason, whoever was building this home and selected these features, for whatever reason, they could not uh, go forward with the purchase of the home and they canceled and that's how this home became available. Um, so that's the reason as far as availability, they are limited because they don't build just in general. I'm going to keep the video running. Okay, so even though it's a 2400 plus square foot home, it is still nice and spacious. So there's kind of like two loft areas. So there's another area there and here. It was almost as if maybe when you build this home, they could have made it a five bedroom. So this is a four bedroom home that I'm showing you, but I bet that's probably where the space would go if we selected the fifth. Good size rooms.
So you see how this is a single vanity? That's how they come standard. I know the other ones were showing double, but that was an option. The rooms are a little smaller in here, but remember this is overall a smaller home. They're still good size though. Okay, so one, two, three around the corner, and then this space along with that space. So upstairs, this specific home, they no longer build. If you do like it, this would be the option. I'm gonna show you the backyard from here. So you already know who you back up to. Two different, oh, actually th four um, two-story homes. Level home site. It does not come with a covered patio, similar to the other videos. Three bedrooms, upstairs, good living space. Owner's retreat is downstairs for a four bedroom. Okay, and now I'm gonna try to see if I can find a 2,701 square foot plan that you guys um, initially inquired about. I will uh, point out that the main difference is the location of the kitchen on the other one. Okay.